unmanned but making the next giant leap for mankind. NASA's Orion capsule, its mannequins inside, pass within 130 kilometres of the moon. The mission is going very well. We've accomplished a number of bonus objectives above and beyond what we had planned pre-flight. It's the closest a spacecraft built to carry humans has been to the lunar surface since Apollo 17. It's done phenomenally, right? So we've, we've done all of the burns up to till, till this point uh, flawlessly. Three, two, one. It took three tries for NASA's space launch system rocket with the Orion crew capsule to take off, aborted due to technical mishaps and hurricanes. On its three-week orbit, the Artemis I mission reached more than 434,500 kilometres from Earth, a new record for human-capable spacecraft. There have been some anomalies. On Saturday, we did have a four-and-a-half-hour uh, com outage. But it's on the home stretch, and the biggest tests are yet to come. To demonstrate the spacecraft at lunar reentry conditions, and, as well as a uh, priority three objective, which is to retrieve the spacecraft post splashdown. The capsule is expected to splash down in the Pacific this weekend. Crews are trained and ready for its recovery. The ocean's going to cool the vehicle, but some of that heat is going to be resident in the structure of the vehicle, so we want to understand how hot the cabin's going to get. Airman from the planet Earth. In 1969, Neil Armstrong and Edward Buzz Aldrin undertook their first moonwalk. Another 10 astronauts followed in their footsteps during six Apollo missions. If this mission succeeds, a crewed Artemis flight around the moon could come in 2024. Sarah Jane Bell, ABC News.